this video will be discussing about vectors which is 12.2 part of a syllabus and vectors are ordered set of numbers so it is not focusing only on the elements that it contains but also by the order in which it appears which means 1 1 3 is not equivalent to 1 3 1 although the elements are same but the order is different so the vector a and b in this case are not equal okay now a1 a2 an are the components of the vector suppose a is a vector so a1 a2 an are the components since it has n components this is called a n vector or else we can say it as that the dimension of this vector is n now coming to operation on vectors first equal vectors we have already discussed so x y z if it is given that this particular vector is equals to 1 3 minus 2 then this implies x equals to 1 y equals to 3 and z equals to minus 2 also a vector 1 minus 4 3 this is not equal to this although the elements are same but the order in which they are appear is not same so these are not equal okay now coming to a zero vector a zero vector consists of all the comp consists of a vector in which all the components are zero so irrespective of what dimension it is every component is zero okay now moving forward so the basic addition and subtraction of vectors if a is a three dimension vector and b is also three dimension vector because they have three components so we can add them if we have vector a which has which is a three dimensional vector whereas vector b is five dimensional vector then we cannot add them right so in this case a plus b would be one plus 5 6 minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 2 minus 8 minus 6 a minus 3 b would be 1 minus 15 so the first component would be minus 14 minus 3 minus 6 which would be minus 9 and 2 plus 24 which is 26 minus 5 times a would be minus 5 15 and then minus 10 now if a and b are two n dimension vectors and t and s are real numbers the n vector which we get as this so t times the vector a plus s time the vector b this is the this would be vector of n dimensional only and so this is called as a linear combination of a and b because we are multiplying it by any real number so we are getting a so suppose a is the vector t is a real number s is a real number and b is a vector so the t a plus s b vector would be of n dimension and it would look like t a1 plus s b1 the first component would be this the second component would be t a2 plus s b2 then the last component would be t a n plus s b n so this would be n dimension only okay now moving forward if a1 a2 till a n are all m vectors m vector means the number of elements it has every vector has is m and x1 x2 xn are real numbers then the m vector so the final vector which is a linear combination of all the vectors would be x1 a1 plus x2 a2 plus xn a so since all these vectors were m vectors that is they had m elements in it so the linear combination would also have m elements in it okay now now we have this equation with us 
and we can write this in the vector form as well so this would be 3 times 3 x1 times 3 plus x2 times minus 4 and 5 so this is equals to 10 and minus 3 so this is nothing but 3 times x1 minus 4 times x2 equals to 10 now you can solve this by substitution or any other method so suppose we have 3x1 minus 4x2 equals to 10 multiplying this by 3 we have 3x1 plus 15x2 equals to minus 9 so minus minus this would be minus this would become plus so this cancels out so we have minus 19 x2 equals to 19 so x2 comes out to be minus 1 similarly for x1 substituting we have substituting in this equation x1 minus 5 equals to minus 3 so x1 equals to 2 so we know x1 equals to 2 and x2 equals to minus 1 is a solution to this so we can write 10 3 as a linear combination of 2 times this vector plus minus 1 time this vector so we can express this as a linear combination of this thing of these two vectors okay now coming to the rules for vector addition and multiplication by scalars so suppose we have suppose it is given that a b and c are arbitrary n vectors that is they have n elements each n elements slash components now and alpha and beta are arbitrary numbers wo random number hai then a plus b plus c is same as a plus b plus c so if you remember this ye associative property thi and a plus b equals to b plus a this is the commutative property okay moving forward a plus any zero vector would give you a only if you have a vector a you add it with minus a so this would be zero alpha plus beta a would give you alpha a plus beta a alpha times a into a a plus b would give you alpha a plus alpha b and alpha into beta a would give you alpha beta a 1 into a would give you a itself so this was the basic for the vectors i hope this was clear in the next class in the next video i'll be discussing about the geometric representation of vectors okay thank you